you can extract honey once a year in um, you know, September, early September, because we have to leave enough um, honey in the hive for them to survive the winter. This is, a, this is called the supa. Goes on top of the hive. We put that on in early summer, and this is where the extra honey is stored. The bees fill up the, the hive with the honey they need, and then they put the extra on top. In this box, in this frame, this group of frames, is 10 frames, small. And that's what it looks like after the honey's been removed. And they're little hexagons. The bees actually secrete wax from a wax gland. You put the frames in the basket. The basket turns. It's driven by a little, actually it's a, it's a little two horsepower, four horsepower in motor, electric motor. And the honey then, honey then drains down to the bottom and we tap it off from a little faucet in the bottom. So we then have raw honey. Then we put a, a nylon bag, it's a very fine nylon bag, into the top bucket. And then we take a, this is a fine screened filter, a receptacle, it's, it's a fairly fine screening, not quite as fine as the nylon. We put that on top of the nylon bag, those little holders. And then we take a coarse screen and put that on the very top. So essentially, you have three different material that you're filtering through. A coarse screen, a fine screen, and then this nylon bag. The honey coming out of the hive is, has debris in it, has a little bit of wax in it, uh, might have little pieces of pollen and such. Uh, actually, the raw honey right out of the hive tastes great. It, it's, it's, it's almost better tasting than, than the, the finely filtered honey. I've had it. It's, it's a little, little bit of a difference, but we do like to take out the pieces of wax just so that the honey is a, a little bit more clear. Each hive on a good year should produce about 50 to 60 pounds, 50 to 60 one pound jars per hive. That's a, each hive is 55,000 bees. Um, and that's, this year it wasn't quite as good because of all the rain. We didn't get uh, as much honey as we normally do because the bees can't go out when it rains. And also the honey's a little darker this year. Normally it's very light, but uh, because different flowers were in bloom and later in the season when it wasn't raining, uh, they collected nectar from a little different group of wildflowers this year. So it's a little darker, um, but tastes just, just as good. And it's, uh, it's a mix of wildflower. We're in a good location here in the uh, Herringbrook Valley at the headwaters of the North River. There's freshwater tidal marsh, marsh that the Herring Run empties into is a rich source of uh, wildflowers. I mean, there's constant moisture and from uh, purple loosestrife to sweet pepper bush. Uh, of course, this time of year, goldenrod. This is uh, the final product from the bee. It's a wildflower honey made from the nectar of the wildflowers here at uh, Pembroke, Herringbrook Valley. This is uh, from the Ichabod Loring Apiary in Pembroke. And this was harvested a couple of weeks ago, uh, Saturday, September 12th, 2009. Um, it's, it I'll tell you, honey can be helpful if you have allergies because it does contain some uh, pollen. And by ingesting the pollen, you actually build up antibodies uh, to pollen, and uh, it uh, it helps uh, alleviate the uh, the severity of uh, any kind of uh, pollen allergy. So local honey is good too. Uh, it does help people uh, with allergies.